Hello and welcome to another episode of Hitomi the Digital Lab, where we bring you a new view on games. My name is Masi, I am your non-average gamer. And I am CK, your non-gamer turned gamer. This week we are both going to be talking to you about Burnout Paradise. Now Burnout Paradise has a lot of different modes, you've got your single player, you've got a lot of substitute multiplayer, and then there is a ton of DLC. So tell me a little bit about the single player. Alright, single player. For those that have never played a Burnout game in your life, you're in for a treat. For those that have, you're in for a treat. This game is massive. The other Burnout games you've played before are not like this. It's completely different. It is an open world. It tries to be a lot like Grand Theft Auto and those other new games. It just seems to be a new style. For single player, you have several modes. You have the races. You have the road rages. You have your burning roots. You have your stunt runs. And you have... Uh, the time trials, the uh, the roads, the show times, and the just the time, the road rules. And the road rules. That's it. There's yeah. road rules and road rules show times. Um, races are straightforward. You just run them, race them. Computer opponents gets first to the finish line. Uh, road rage. It's all about you knocking out your computer opponents. A lot like the old-fashioned way that burnout used to be. Yeah. Uh, for your stunt runs, it's all about jumps. Smashing billboards, flat spins, air times, air times you know, barrel rolls, all that good stuff, chaining them together with boosts, drifts, driving backwards, reckless craziness, all to get a high score. And in doing that, you're going to unlock stuff to get more cars. Uh, what else is there? See, when you do the burning route, you get a higher level of the car that you're in. So each car that you unlock has its own burning route. Right, and, and as you're going through the race, every few events you finish and complete, they give you a car. But they don't just give you the car, do yeah, they? You have, to, you have to chase it down in the street and take it down. You have to crash into it. And once you smash it, it ends up in your junkyard and it is yours to keep. Um, it gets very more in-depth than that, but that's, that's basically the simple stuff. We'll let you figure out the rest. <laughs> um, now, the game is massive. I mean, it may seem like what I just went over was a small fraction. But in the it world itself, <laughs> in the world itself, all these events can be found at intersections. Anywhere there's a signal light, and there's like about a hundred some odd intersections you can get to to go through all these events. It's a lot. Plus, that's not counting the time trials you got to do, which is basically any road you're on, from its starting point to its ending point, you can set the fastest time, as well as when you're on that road get to do the show times, which is at any time you can start a crash and it's all about causing the most damage. Now, like I said, there's a lot more than that. That's just single player. Single player, people! Multiplayer, care to explain to the fine folks? No problem. Yeah, multiplayer, you know, you can, you can join in with other, up to eight people and you know, you can just, you can do the same thing you do in single player, aside from the events. You the know, events, yeah. Yeah, so you can, you can take people down, you know, they can start races, you know, you can just try to get like the highest drift, anything like that. Or there are challenges you can do from anywhere from two to eight players. There are probably 50 some odd challenges for each amount of people that you have. And it is just, it is fun. It is insane. You know, it's like everybody has to do it. So it's good to do it with people you know or, you know, somebody that actually knows what they're doing in the game. But it is a lot of fun. You know what? Give us an example of what a challenge would be like. I mean, tell us. I got, I got eight people in my party, I go to my menu, I select the challenge, what am I going to expect? Uh, go do a barrel roll off this one jump. And that's you it? Know, just me by myself? or Everybody has to go there Everybody has to go do it. Yeah. Now most of them, there, there are a few timed ones too, and those get a little bit tricky. So, <laughs> Especially when you have eight people in there. So, <laughs> Coordination nightmare. Yes, but it is, it is a lot of fun. So. Now then they also have bikes. Bikes! That's right. Guys, if you are playing this on your PlayStation 3 or your Xbox, the first thing you're going to notice is that you have to get a mandatory update. As of today, as of today's airing date, the newest update is 1.9. What you're not going to realize, and the reason the update is so big, is because the fine folks at uh, uh, Criterion. Criterion Games has given us the first DLC for free. So if you're one of the lucky few that bought it, this review is kind of pointless, but to those that haven't, the first update was the Cagney update, and that gave you a day to night mode that you could modify. They overhauled the interface, so it looks like a whole brand new game. They've patched up some things, and they've given you bikes. When you are completely done playing Burnout, you get to go in the world with 
motorcycles. It's a Burnout first. It's never been in a franchise. That's why I'm excited about it because I've been playing Burnout and it's always been about the cars. With the bikes, there's a whole new slew of things that goes on. There are things that uh, in our circle of friends we dubbed as uh, burn achievements. And when you're running through the bikes, you're going to find that at the bottom of your screen, you get an achievement for doing things like wheeling for like a half a mile, um, doing an endo or something like that, or running through the streets. And that alone is awesome. And then you can go online on top of that and do more challenges with the bikes. It's a whole different gameplay. They minus a few things, so you're not going to be doing, you know, the stuff we're going to talk about in a minute. But uh, for the most part, yeah, that update is just insane. Now, for those that like to collect things, what else do they have in this game when you're driving in cars? Well, there are a lot of different car packs for the DLC. You've got your boost cars, you have toy cars, and then you have legendary cars, which includes like, you know, Kit from Knight Rider, your Back to the Future car, Ghostbusters car, and the Dukes of Hazzard car. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can buy each of them individually or you can buy them as packs. They are much more worth it in a pack. Um, and then the biggest thing, which is Big Surf Island. <laughs> which is the reason why I'm bringing this show to you. Yes. <laughs> this game is so good that we keep dusting, taking the dust off of it every couple of weeks. There's always something to happen. Big Paradise deal, uh, Big Surf Island is a DLC that just dropped a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago on the 11th of June of 2009. And... Criterion Games said, you know what, we've given you enough new game modes, which we missed one and we'll get back to. We've given you enough cars, yeah, good anyways. <laughs> which is why I'll get to it. And they decided, you know what, we're going to drop a whole entire island. It's an island about a little bit smaller than the main city of Burnout Paradise itself. Those that have played, that have played it know what I'm talking about. Those that haven't, you'll soon see. And they packed a lot into this island, though. There is they, a lot of stuff to do. They have this mantra of, if you can see it, you can drive to it. So, you can drive in buildings, through buildings, underneath roads, off-road. There is a lot of stuff. The jumps are bigger, the smashes are larger, and the crashes are just phenomenal. And on top of that, they've included, like, another 15 new cars. Nope. Nine. Nine new cars. Nine new cars. Fifteen new events, nine new cars, and it is awesome. I mean, the island is packed. There is so much to do, so much to see, and more online mode challenges, which is insane. Uh, what else am I missing? Anything? 